What's up, world? It's a Monday. And yep, I'm headed to work. It's 3 o'clock, man. I feel pretty good, man. I just had to do this video. You know, I, I'm not really one of them people who... You know, I don't I do not do a YouTube channel for uh, sports. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a diehard Philadelphia Eagles fan. Since the age of like six, if I can recall. I actually played for the Eagles in recreation. And I loved it. The Eagles, I mean, way back. I mean, you know, since, like I said, since a little kid. And, you know what I'm saying? To be 29 years old. You know what I'm saying? So, I've been an Eagle fan for 20 plus, 20, over 20 years, man. And I'm, and I'm young, to say the least. But, man. I believe, man. I believe that Jalen Hurts will become a Russell Wilson type of guy. You know, reason why I say that, I, I watch him. I do think sometimes he force a ball, which is kind of okay because, you know, I'm a previous quarterback as well. Reason why I say that, I'm not saying, you know, it was, you know, sometimes you when forcing a ball is always a good decision, but it shows that you have the confidence and heart that you're not scared to take a risk. And he hung in there yesterday against Carolina, man. A solid defense, you know. He 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 held in there after sloppy early performance. Even you know you can blame the play calling a lot on that, but to say the least, man, when it counted, he was given opportunity after opportunity, and he rose to the occasion. I believe the play of the day was the two point conversion, man. That's that's what I truly believe. I believe that two point conversion was the play of the day, like. The Quest walking throw was 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 amazing. It was amazing. I do believe if he would have put a little more zip on the ball, I believe it floated a little bit. You can see Quest had to slow down the tab. I believe if he would put a little more zip where Quest could have caught it in stride, it was an automatic touchdown. But say the least, we still got the victory. But I do believe the two-point conversion, the way he broke out of a sack, saved the play, and delivered an accurate ball to the back of the end zone, which is a tough throw, you know, Jalen Hurts, man, he he's he's gonna be a long-term Philadelphia Eagle, man, and I do believe he earned, he earned his stripes, you know, not just from his performance, but the way that he hangs in there when it looked like it's over, you know. A lot of guys we see veterans sometimes, you know, in in games like Matt Ryan, uh, a lot of other veterans like a name, man. We see them when they get in these clutch moments. Once they get sacked a few times, throw a couple picks. Uh, down by t 10 with in the late in the third or the fourth you see them kind of tuck their heads and they kind of just start you know playing loose you know just throwing the ball all over the place and kind of how uh we had uh Sam Donald doing yesterday you could tell he was missing guys wide open you could tell the frustration I mean like I said I'm a previous quarterback you know I played quarterback before in my life you know more than once you know and was a legitimate. What is a legitimate? Uh, <laughs> can't even get it out. Was a legit quarterback, you know, when I played. So I kind of understand, like, you know, I can recall games where I had a bad first half, got pulled, you know, end up going back in. But I can recall, you know, didn't throw interceptions, but just you know, missed throws, you know, stuff like that, and how it can be frustrating. But Jalen Hurts, man, and, and this Philadelphia Eagles team, man. I do believe that if we can get some linebacker play, it's going to open up to a better defense going forward in the next few years. I do believe our defensive line will – but Derek Barnett showed me yesterday that he was a lot more focused, you know. No outside penalties, and he played a lot of snaps. He he had, he was there at a lot of pressure. You know, Hargrave, you know, he's, he's doing what he's been doing all this season. Flat showed up. Uh, and I actually called the slave pick yesterday on uh, Philly Mike's. I believe it was Philly Mike. I can't remember. But I believe I was on his live chat yesterday, and I called the slate interception like two minutes before it happened. Like, I said, I feel a pick on this drive. Darius Slade's due for an interception. Like, I just felt it. Like, I felt like, you know, all the hype about how the defense was getting their ass kicked, and they showed up. They showed up, man. They really had they, whatever meeting they had with the coach. You know, it, it worked. So, and that's going to show you how communication, man, is key when it comes to success in any relationship, whether it's sports 
marriages or, or any any t- job any type of relationship you got to have that communication and sometimes communication got to be harsh and that don't mean yelling and screaming and fighting that just means sometimes i gotta i gotta give it to you straight with, without sugarcoating it man let you look like hey man you calling a shitty game or hey the way you covering man is not you know how we need you to cover you need to play a little more gra- you know it's just little things man but back to Jalen hurts man i believe that when we drafted Jalen Hurts, it was the best decision we made. You know, I do believe Carson Wentz had talent, still has talent, but I believe he's shell shook. I believe once you get your man, it's like his manhood was tucking. Not saying his manhood was tucking because it had nothing to do with his manhood, but I do believe when when Foles won the Super Bowl when it was supposed to be him, I believe it stole his identity and he never got it back. Because he came back playing hero ball on every play. It was like he was trying to force us to believe that he was the reason. And that he's going to get us back there. Like, he was trying to do it on one play every drive. And that's why I believe he was holding the ball too long. But say to nonetheless, man, to get Jalen Hurts at a second round was amazing, man. And we see now why we got him. A lot of people didn't like it. I, I, I really can't say that I liked it or didn't like it because... I liked the Carson Wentz, you know, a little bit. I believe he was, I believe he could have still, you know, been good if his head would have, you know, could have get his head in the right place, but everything happened for a reason. But Jalen Hurts, to me, right now, is the answer, unless he goes out the next four or five games and just lay an egg, I mean, and, and throw three, four interceptions a game. Of course, he can work on the accuracies. He's young. You know, a lot, you can't name many quarterbacks that came in there their first year or two and looked it great. Not many. You know, a lot of them, it took them three to four or five years to really develop into the quarterback that they, they are now or have became. But uh, Jalen Hurts overall, man, he's a phenomenal guy, man. Leadership. He's a he's a weightlifter, man. He's strong all over, man. You can tell that the guy just want to win. You can tell that he's not caring about putting up four, 500 passing yards. He don't care. He don't care how his stats look. He only stat that matters to him is winning and you never you can never be mad with a quarterback when his stat is about winning. I don't care if he throw for 80 yards. You know, and complete 10% of his passes. If he's winning on the when we if he's making the play when we need him, whether it's leg or arm, to me that's all I need. When when they when you win the Super Bowl, nobody cares about how bad the quarterback played if the quarterback actually won. If I go out there and throw five picks and still won the Super Bowl on a game winning drive, that one game winning drive gonna override them five picks. The other five picks may get talked about how I struggled early or such and such, but he came through, man. He scrambled a touchdown. You know, he, he you know, he he did what he's supposed to do. And and I like it. And I like where we headed as a Philadelphia Eagles team going forward, man, with all these draft picks. You know, it's looking good for us, man. And um it's not looking good for you, Dallas. It's not looking good for you, uh, Washington and New York. I'm sorry. Y'all gonna have hell on your hands the next three to four or five years, man. Just just watch out, man. Watch Smitty and the rest of these guys. And Rager, man, I still believe in Rager, man. I believe he he's he's just got I believe a lot of it's timing with the quarterback and everything else. And a lot of it probably design plays. But I believe it's it's, it's coming, man. A breakout game for him is coming as well, man. But that's all I got, man. It's, it's, it's a it's a victory day for me, man. I can go to work, look at these Cowboy fans, even though they won too, but I can go to work today with a victory, with a victory smile, man. And that's all that's all it's about. Peace out.